Uh, to Bill, thank you for sharing your business with us. We hope we didn't cost you any money today. But uh, the bottom line is, this governor's race, are y'all paying attention to the governor's race in Florida? Yeah. I've been here like 20 minutes and I figured this out. <laughs> Who would want Bernie Sanders to run Florida? Yeah. Well, that's what you're gonna get. If uh, the Demo no, that's right. If the Democrat wins, Bill, I'll be coming back to you saying there's a uh, place for you in South Carolina. So I want to tell you right now, people come to Florida to create jobs because it's a good place to do it. You increase taxes, you increase the size of state government, 95 goes right up to South Carolina. We will welcome you with open arms. So to Florida, please get this right. Uh, you're always ground zero presidentially. We need a Republican governor to make sure that Trump will be treated fairly in 2020. The Democratic candidate for governor is associated with a thing called uh, Dream Builders. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to find out quickly. If you're pro-Israel, you've got to understand who this guy is associated with when it comes to his view of the state of Israel, his view of cops, his view of how society should be organized. So Ron DeSantis has the ear of the president. He will continue to build on the legacy of one of the best governors in the history of the state of Florida and the country, Rick Scott. Yeah. So, if Florida was his own country, which Maybe it should be one of these days. <laughs> no, we're doing good. It's a trillion dollar economy, right? The 17th largest country in the world if it was an independent country. This man has taken you to new levels. The, country, the state is going like this. Washington is going like this. We need clarity. We need senators who get it. Rick Scott got it as governor, he will get it as senator. I'm here not to run anybody down, I'm here to align myself with Rick Scott. I'm here to stand with what I think is the future of the Republican Party. So we need some help. There are 51 of us. You can't afford to lose many. We cut your taxes all by ourselves. We've done most everything all by ourselves. So please send Rick. The people of South Carolina are begging you to send Rick Scott. Because we're all in it together. Three things. President Trump ran on an agenda and he's keeping his promises. What a novel idea, right? So he got elected in Florida. And apparently Senator Nelson missed that whole election. Because everything Trump, everything else yeah, well, there you go. Uh, Trump understood what he wanted to do. He's doing it, and Senator Nelson's making it hard at every turn. He promised to cut you taxes, and we did. You know who did? Bill Nelson. You know why he never will? Because he's aligned himself with people who believe that the only way for you to grow your business is for Washington to have more money. No. They don't know what they're doing. A tax cut means less money for their government agenda, more money for people like Bill. Yeah. Bill Nelson gets his money from people who believe in the government. Rick Scott gets his support from people who believe in Florida. Yeah. He's in a box. He's associated with the most radical, crazy people I have met, but that's saying a lot when you live in Washington. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. So he was no on the tax cuts. When it comes to the Iran nuclear deal, he was for it. I don't want to hear any more about being pro-Israel. I grew up in the back of a liquor store, bar, and a pool room. Neither one of my parents finished high school. They worked hard every day. They went to work where they could feel like it or not because you had to go to work if you own your own business. You know what I learned in the bar? If a man's threatening to cut your throat, don't buy him a knife. <laughs> what about the Ayatollah Bill Nelson doesn't understand? When you write on the side of the missile you're building, death to Israel, 
guess what you might do with it? When you capture sailors on the high seas, U.S. sailors, and humiliate them, do you really want to make that person your friend? The Iran nuclear agreement was the worst deal since Munich. Bill Nelson voted to give the Ayatollah, a religious Nazi, $150 billion. I guarantee he didn't build roads with it. He took it into his war machine, dismembering the Mideast and threatening the very existence of the state of Israel. So when Israel and the United States needed him most to stand up to this religious Nazi, Bill Nelson went with Obama. Because Obama threatened every Democrat, if you cross me on this, I'm coming after you. So who does he pick? The left. Not Israel, not America. Kavanaugh. Oh, yeah. 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 So, I am generally mild-mannered, <laughs> but I did grow up in a bar. <laughs> We literally owns the bar, and I've seen more things thrown than ice. <laughs> this was the worst period for me. I've never felt more embarrassed for the United States Senate than I did during Kavanaugh. I never felt more betrayed and hurt. Why? Because I voted for Sotomayor and Kagan thinking that's the way you're supposed to do this. Elections matter, right? Obama won. I thought both of them were qualified, even though I would not have chosen them. Bill Nelson voted for both Sotomayor and Kagan. And the reason I am here in Florida begging you to send Rick Scott is because Bill Nelson voted against Gorsuch and Kavanaugh. Why? Because he's in that box. He's in that liberal box. And what did I learn about our friends on the other side? They send me nice letters when I vote for their people, and they try to destroy our people. I've had it. I am pissed, and I'm ready to make sure they pay a price. I have known Brad Kavanaugh for 20 years. He is not Bill Cosby when he was in high school. This was a character assassination, unbecoming a great nation. This man has worked hard all his life to become one of the great legal minds of his time. And when President Trump picked him, I applauded because he's the best man to be picked on our side. So President Trump knocked it out of part with Gorsuch and Kavanaugh and Bill Nelson does not understand that elections have consequences. Because he's just worried about his supporters. Not the fact that President Trump earned the right to make that choice. Yes. He's job scared, folks. The reason he's job scared is he can't cross those folks who tried to destroy Kavanaugh because they'll pull the plug. Yep. The reason I want Rick Scott taking his place is he's not scared of anything. Yes. So, how does this end? Kavanaugh is on the court, thank God. I want to thank Susan Collins for giving the best explanation of why you would vote for this fine man. I want to thank the Republicans for standing in there with Kavanaugh and standing up to this despicable character assassination. I want to thank President Trump for not backing off. And I'm here to let my friend Bill Nelson know that was too much. When you voted no to Kavanaugh, you voted yes to character assassination. You do not realize what those people were doing, and if you do, you should lose your job. And if you don't realize, you should lose your job. They were going to destroy this fine man, keep the seat open and fill it in 2020, because all they care about is power. So if I spoke for you, I am glad. So Rick called me right after the hearing. And I know he was creating jobs and dealing with a hurricane and trying to get elected. He had a lot on his plate. And he said, I just wanted to let you know, thank you, Lindsay. 
Thank you for doing what you did. That meant the world to me that you would call. That explains the difference. Nelson voted for the destruction of Kavanaugh. And Rick Scott called me to thank me for helping this fine man. Do you want this to end? Do you want this when it all costs politics? Do you want to change the way Washington works? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to send a message to people yeah. who yeah. would destroy somebody and their two daughters just for power? Yeah. There's one way they're going to change. They got to lose. Yeah. And let me tell you, this is ground zero. Yeah. They will keep doing this crap until they feel it. Florida, you got a chance to speak loud and clear as to what you want your country to look like. Do you want the mob in charge? No! Do you want the rule of law? Amen! If a Republican had done to a Democrat what they did to Kavanaugh, everybody with these cameras would be all over us. What if a Republican said, you're not presumed innocent because you're a Democrat? What if we had hid information from the committee, betrayed the victim who had an allegation against a Democrat? They would have killed us. Ladies and gentlemen, what happened in that hearing will destroy this country over time. Who wants to be a judge after this? So we got a chance to start all over again and get the country back on track. Work with President Trump when we can and say no when we must, but always pull for him to be successful. They want to destroy him rather than work with him. And that is not good for Florida, South Carolina, or the nation. So I'm here to beg and plead with you to make sure that they understand the consequences of what they did. And here's how this has to end. Not only does Kavanaugh need to serve on the court, they need to lose at the ballot box. Yes. I'll make a prediction. When Rick Scott wins. Yes. People in Florida are going to be telling the Democratic Party, enough already. Enough already. Here's the one thing Kavanaugh has done that no Republican could do. Unite the Republican Party. For the Democratic Party, thank you for doing something we couldn't do. If you are a Trump Republican, a Bush Republican, a Libertarian Republican, a Vegetarian Republican, you were pissed as to what they would do to this fine man who worked for President Bush. So to my Republican friends, you've got to get out to vote. It really does matter. If you're not motivated after Kavanaugh and the caravan, you're legally dead as a Republican. To independence, you've got a chance to make Washington work. Let's go to work. Destroying each other. To Democrats who care about your party, speak up. Take it back from these nut jobs. Don't give it over to people who will destroy our economy and change America to the point you won't recognize your own country. All it would take was one Democrat to speak up and this whole thing would stop. Bill Nelson was not there. When America, the rule of law, the Senate, and Florida needed him the most. He was AWOL! Two, the liberal Democrats and the radical left who follow me around and spit my face, who try to intimidate all of us by calling us every name in the book, who want to turn Florida into Venezuela, who want to pack the court with a bunch of liberals who will do their bidding when they lose at the ballot box. Here's my message. We're gonna beat you next Tuesday. Thank you, Senator. Senator Lindsey Graham. So, are we gonna fight for what we believe?